sports cars are rarely viewed as practical everyday commuters and are usually bought without any consideration for the family budget. Therefore, expecting that a performance auto must be affordable is quite utopia. However, in this episode we still attempted to gather the world's cheapest models of 2021. We promise you, they provide exceptional driving thrills without totally destroying your bank. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and turn on all the notifications not to miss the upcoming informative videos. Enjoy the ride! Hyundai Veloster N The N performance brand by Hyundai has been steadily gaining popularity among the fans of hot hatches. But in order to boost sales even further, Koreans were given into the demand for an automatic transmission. In 2021, the aggressive three-door could be had not only with a six-speed manual tranny with rev matching, but also with an automatic eight-speed wide dual clutch with steering wheel mounted pedal shifters. The 2-liter Turbo 4 still makes 275 horsepower, but in the case of the new gearbox, adds an overboost function, which increases torque from 260 to 278 pound-feet for a short period of time. The previously optional performance and safety suite packages now become standard. There is a new 8-inch infotainment and 4.4 pounds lighter and light sports seats with an illuminated N logo. Subaru BRZ When first approached by Toyota to co-create a front-engine rear-wheel drive 2 plus 2 coupe, Subaru was conflicted with abandoning its high-performance all-wheel drive reputation. But eventually, the collaboration took off and gave the world outstanding driver's cars. For the second generation of the BRZ86 Duo, the labor distribution remained the same. Subaru was responsible for the chassis and drivetrain, while Toyota took care of the styling. The coupe is still underpinned by a modified Impreza chassis, but new materials and adhesives powered from the Subaru's global platform ensure 50% higher torsional rigidity. The all-new 2.4-liter direct injection boxer produces 228 horsepower and raises torque to 184 pound-feet. The McPherson struts in the front and the multi-link rear suspension were retuned. There are new 18-inch alloys wearing Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires and beefier brakes. This 2022 two-door can be enhanced with a digital dashboard, eyesight safety tag, and an 8-inch Starlink infotainment. Nissan 370Z The world is patiently waiting for the arrival of the all-new Nissan 400Z. But people are forgetting that price-wise, the 400-horsepower twin-turbo newcomer will make at least a 10 grand hike over its naturally aspirated predecessor. After the inevitable axing of the 370Z model, the Nissan Z family won't be called affordable ever again. So let's revisit the iconic two-door while we still can. Its 3.7-liter V6 makes 332 HP and 276 pound-feet, channeled to the rear wheels via close-ratio manual 6-speed or a 7-speed automatic, and as a result, 5.2 seconds 0 to 60. This car has a soul that could be felt through an outstandingly balanced chassis, a manual tranny with the world's first synchro rev match feature, and a driver-focused cockpit. However, it has outrageously bad combined fuel consumption of 20 mpg and interior of the 2000s. Ford Fiesta ST The scorching hot ST version of the Fiesta is dearly missed on its home market, but drivers in the old world still get to zip around narrow streets. It could be bought in both 3- and 5-door versions, both powered by potent 1.5-liter EcoBoost 3-cylinder. This mill utilizes Ford's latest turbocharger technology to make 200 horsepower and 214 pound-feet of torque. Plus, it benefits from cylinder deactivation technology to save fuel while cruising. The Ford Fiesta ST's utility belt also includes a mechanical limited slip differential, three selectable drive modes, and launch control. The unique ST suspension incorporates a rear sports twist beam with force factoring springs. Plus, it gets frequency-dependent dampers that automatically adjust to deliver accurate handling in all conditions. Make sure to hit the like button to support our channel and proceed to watching. The most affordable models are waiting for you down the list. Let's keep going!
Dodge Challenger. True to its muscle car origins, even the humblest Challenger in the roster breathes a three proper V6 engine that belongs to the Pentastar family. The 3.6 liter mil is paired to an 8 speed torque flight automatic that sends all 305 of the produced horses to the rear wheels. The base 60 model also offers an all wheel drive system as an option, but it costs a $3,000 premium. The headlights of the car are still halogen bulbs, though DRLs do feature brighter LEDs. Inside this Challenger does not lack the standard amenities. It is equipped with a dual zone air conditioning, you get a key fob for keyless entry, the driver's seat is 8-way adjustable, while all passengers get their own beverage holders. On the technological front, the two-door features a standard 7-inch Uconnect 4 system, smartphone connectivity and voice command, though driver assistance tech is still not included in the base price. Ford Mustang Fastback Even classic Mustangs of 1970s were not solely offered with iconic V8 engines. The entry-level models were actually sold with V6s. So the 2.3-liter EcoBoost is not an insult to the legendary moniker, but rather an opportunity to own a Mustang for less than 30 grand. This turbocharged four-cylinder makes abundant 310 horsepower, 350 pound-feet, and is controlled with a six-speed manual. The standard fastback equipment includes launch control, 331 limited slip rear axle, independent rear suspension, and 17-inch wheels. LED headlights with signature DRL circuit, as well as sync infotainment, six-speaker audio, and manual climate control. Among the options to consider are a 10-speed select shift automatic, high performance, and Ford Safe smart packages. For extra $6,000, the sports coupe gets proper Mustang elements, like beefy 19-inchers, larger brakes, 355 limited slip, active exhaust, and active safety features. Mazda MX-5 Miata Miata is far from offering the best price-to-power ratio, but with it, you're buying 30 years of iconic heritage, cheerful driving demeanor, and unforgettable feeling of owning a true roadster. After the latest facelift in 2019, the MX-5 is powered by a 2-liter Skyactiv-G4 cylinder with VVT that produces 181 horsepower and 151 pound-feet. There are two transmission choices, a Skyactiv MT 6-speed manual or a 6-speed sport automatic with paddle shifters, which is a $1,400 premium. The entry-level Mazda Miata rides on metallic black 16-inch aluminum alloys, lights its way with LED headlights, and offers a 7-inch Mazda Connect. Fiat 124 Spider. It shouldn't come as a surprise to you, but the aforementioned Miata shares its platform with the Italian Fiat 124 Spider. In essence, the difference between the two lies under the hood. The Fiat is powered by the in-house developed 1.4-liter multi-air turbo 4 with 160 HP on tap. One thing that you need to know about the Spider is that it has already been discontinued in Europe and most likely won't make it past 2021 in the US. So, if it floats your boat, hurry up to buy the cheapest sporty convertible of today. Chevrolet Camaro When it comes to the ratio between money paid and ponies received, you can hardly make a comprehensive top list without a Chevy Camaro. The legendary pony car offers plenty of options for the potential buyers, with four available powertrains and up to eight trims. However, even in the base 1LS model, you will get 275 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, which is a courtesy of Chevy's 2.0-liter turbocharged engine. The inline 4 is mated to a 6-speed manual transmission, while an 8-speed automatic costs additional 1500 bucks. Equipped with the former, the two-door accelerates from a standstill to 60 in 5.4 seconds. As standard, the Camaro rides on 18-inch silver-painted alloy wheels. Inside the cabin there is a 7-inch infotainment touchscreen with smartphone integration, a Bose 6-speaker audio system, a power driver's seat, and a leather-wrapped flat-bottom steering wheel. Toyota Copan GR Sport 
Sold under Toyota and Daihatsu brands, the Ski Sports Car is the first model of its class to be modified by Toyota's Gazoo Racing division. Since it is compact, it was developed to occupy the entry-level position in the GR range. Even with all the enhancements by Toyota's performance division, its 660cc turbo engine makes just 63 horses and 68 pound-feet, all of which are sent to the front wheels. To appeal to more buyers, the Scopan is offered with two gearbox options, a CVT with a 7-speed pedal shifter and a slightly more expensive 5-speed manual. Additionally, the car sports a GR-treated suspension, tuned electric power steering, and a new exterior look with a matrix grille, new bumpers, LED lighting, and BBS matte gray wheels. Inside you will find comfy Recaro seats, mono steering wheel, and a new gauge cluster with GR design. Honda Civic Coupe This truly iconic model for the Japanese manufacturer is on the brink of its 11th generation, which is rumored to arrive in summer 2021. This means that it is time for the bargain shoppers to go into action, since it is likely to get promotional discounts during the following year. Regardless of the chosen trim level, you are guaranteed sporty driving experience thanks to the Civic's perfectly balanced chassis and a manual transmission option that is available if you are willing to throw in an extra $800 to the base price. The coupe is powered by the 2.0-liter 4-cylinder, making 158 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque, transferred to the front wheels via a standard CVT transmission. Before going down to the options list, you already get a multi-angle rear-view camera, 5-inch LCD screen, 160-watt audio, and Honda Sensing suite of driver aids. Honda S660 This lovely mini roadster is a true testament of Japanese engineering. The Honda S660 is a quite unique mid-engine sports car that belongs to the key car class that is still thriving in Japan. Starting from 2020, the open top gets a redesigned grille shape, new vertically positioned fog lamps, and updated turn signals integrated into the wing mirrors. Additionally, the two-seater boasts a smoked-out taillights and new aluminum alloy wheels. Inside the customers can now add heated seats, Alcantara-wrapped steering wheel, and a freestanding infotainment display with Honda's GPS navigation. Behind the seats hides a familiar 660cc turbocharged three-cylinder engine that makes 64 horsepower and 77 pound-feet of torque, which is the maximum allowed for the key car regulations. The mill is mated to a six-speed manual transmission, while a CVT with pedal shifters remains an option. Unfortunately, as in the previous years, the model is exclusive to Japan. These are the cheapest sports car models present on the market in 2021, but can they be called affordable? Share your thoughts regarding this matter in the comment section and mention your favorites from the lineup. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, like and share, and continue exploring our videos starting with the ones suggested on the screen. May the torque be with you!